Yellowstone has all the markings of a hit TV show, intriguing storylines, and an amazing cast led by none other than the Oscar-winning actor-filmmaker Kevin Costner. He plays John Dutton, a sixth-generation rancher and owner of Yellowstone Dutton Ranch. It wouldn't be Yellowstone without John Dutton in charge. Here's everything you need to know about the head honcho of the TV series, and the strict rules John Dutton has to follow in every Yellowstone episode. Yellowstone is a show that thinks a lot about tradition. The soapy Paramount Network series from creator Taylor Sheridan takes traditional Western themes of family, masculinity, and manifesting one's destiny and explores them in a modern context, though it walks a fine line between traditionalism and modernity. The show uses a lot of Western and primetime soap opera tropes in interesting ways. Many of the struggles between the Cowboys and Native Americans play out in conference rooms instead of in the shootouts. And while the family dysfunction is highly dramatic, it is still grounded in real emotions thanks to the cast's excellent performances. John Dutton is a Montana rancher and the head of the Dutton family. John Dutton is portrayed by, as you all know, none other than Kevin Costner. As the series progresses, Dutton runs for and wins the office of governor of Montana. Costner perfectly fits the profile of the strong and commanding ranch owner, and the role even helped him to acquire a Golden Globe Award and a Screen Actors Guild nomination. In Yellowstone, John Dutton is the man in charge. The flagship Yellowstone series opens with the unforgettable image of a blood-soaked John Dutton reaching out and saying goodbye to his horse, mangled from a car accident before shooting it in the head. This is how Taylor Sheridan introduced the main character of the best TV series around. Since Yellowstone is bound to traditions of both the American West and classic television, there are certain rules it follows. The episodes have a beginning, a middle, and an end. It's a serialist show, but every episode stands on its own. And the characters follow strict codes of behavior that are morally dubious yet consistent. And no character is more consistent than John Dutton, played by Kevin Costner the family patriarch and owner of the Yellowstone Ranch. Here are the rules that he has to follow in every episode of Yellowstone. Dutton is Yellowstone's most important character and is played by a major movie star, yet he doesn't have much screen time proportionate to how important he is. According to Taylor Sheridan, this is by design. Whenever John Dutton is here, I want the moment to be special. I need him to be human but not insignificant. It has become common to see Kevin Costner on television. I want it to be remarkable, Sheridan told the media. While this is clearly a story about his world through his lens, I want you to know about the whole world so you can see the impact his character has on each of them. I try to make the moments I write for him Oscar winning, and I never want to put him in an unimportant situation. He changes the plot, and so I try to be respectful of the situations I put his character in. An example of Dutton altering the plot would be paying Jimmy's medical bills after his rodeo accident in season three. Jimmy could have died, but Dutton saved him, and now Jimmy is in his debt. Jimmy's story has changed forever after his encounter with John Dutton. When Dutton speaks, people listen, mostly because his stature of being wealthy and powerful gives him the influence to control their fates. They listen because his voice is so unique that it demands attention, and they listen because more often than not, he's dropping some pearls of hard-earned wisdom. Sheridan writes every episode, and he knows how to craft some memorable dialogue. Dutton talks about preserving his ranch in cowboy capitalist pool quotes. From my great-great-grandfather to my wife and oldest son, when a tree grows on my ranch, I know exactly what fed it, and that's the best we can hope for because nothing we do is for today, he said in season one. Last long enough for your children to continue the cycle, and maybe, just maybe, the land is still here when a tree sprouts for you. He literally made up his own business dictionary. Leverage is knowing if someone had all the money in the world, this is what they would buy. Dutton outlined his philosophy in a conversation with business rival Dan Jenkins, played by Danny Houston, in season two when the carpet bagger from California said he had as much of a right as anyone to seek his fortune in Montana. No one has a right. You just have to take the right, Dutton answered, or stop it from being taken from you. This sort of dialogue is consistently present and flawlessly delivered by Costner in every single episode of Yellowstone. Like any good character, John Dutton has a uniform. There are certain things he always wears, a tan or black cowboy hat, a warm jacket, a quilted vest, and a well-worn pair of jeans. And since he's such a rich man, he always looks the part of a wealthy outdoorsman. His wardrobe was designed by Oscar-winning costume designer Ruth Carter, who went from Black Panther to Yellowstone. 
I was really tired after Black Panther, Carter told Gold Derby. I really did not want to go back to work, but I thought I'd take the opportunity to talk to Taylor Sheridan. So he called me at home and we had the best conversation for two hours. He was just telling me about how the West was different, how cowboys aren't the same, how it's not some old idea, how it's a new idea, how they wear their clothes very hip hop at times and they evoke a lot of modern design, which I found hard to believe at the time, but then it made sense, said Carter. She continued, just his commitment to storytelling. We had such a great conversation. I was inspired and I said, okay, I'll do it. I went from one month of finishing Black Panther to starting a series, which I don't recommend. She custom made much of Costner's wardrobe, like Dutton's signature orange and beige puffer coat. And for stuff that had to be authentic, she found vintage Ralph Lauren jeans and Carhartt jackets. A good one that's worn in is worth its weight in gold, Carter said of old Carhartt. If you want to dress like John Dutton, New American Leather makes clothes inspired by what's worn on Yellowstone. In season two, Dutton summed up his whole world view in one sentence, which he told his daughter, Beth, it's the one constant in life. You build something worth having, someone's gonna try to take it. The whole show is centered on him protecting his ranch from those who wanna take it. People who have tried to comfort John Dutton's land include everyone from real estate developers and the Beck brothers to Malcolm and Teal, who collectively went too far in their ruthless business dealings and hired neo-Nazis to kidnap Dutton's grandson. So Dutton and his Yellowstone crew killed them all. Native American tribe leader Thomas Rainwater also wants to reclaim the land he believes rightfully belongs to his tribe, which he wants to later develop into a casino complex to bring prosperity to his people. Finally, venture capitalist Roark Morris wants to take Dutton's land to build an airport on it. Morris has enlisted government help to try and take the land through eminent domain and may even have tried to assassinate Dutton and his kids Beth and Casey though we'll have to wait until season four to be sure who was behind that. Dutton's obsession with protecting his ranch and his legacy is all consuming and sometimes leads to him making illogical and otherwise emotional business decisions, like turning down the above market offer for the land in season three. Dutton's devotion to his land is what Yellowstone is all about and it drives every episode. Costner's initial Yellowstone salary was $500,000 per episode. After Yellowstone became a massive hit, Variety reported in 2022 that Costner's Yellowstone salary was bumped up to 1.3 million per episode. Basically, if Logan Roy lived on a ranch, this is who we're looking at. John Dutton may not be as foul mouthed as his big city counterpart, but he's just as ruthless and can be just as distant with his own children. John's ultimate goal is to protect the legacy of Yellowstone and ensure that it's handed down to the next generation of Duttons. John doesn't always stand on the right side of the law, but always does what he believes is right for his family and his land. Often this means he comes face to face with some pretty foul enemies, but John has enough friends in the right places to get through most traps. So that's all for today. Did we miss anything about the big daddy of the series? If yes, comment below. Do smash those like buttons and hit the bell icon to see more of us. Until next time, see you later.